Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. We're just going to do a few things today. Um, I'm just doing up some odds and ends. I stopped when I was at Orchard Market this morning on the way home. Um, I got these two mini loaves of French bread for a buck fifteen a loaf. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make some garlic bread out of that and put it in the freezer. We're not going to have it today, but it'll be beautiful in the freezer. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I make my homemade garlic butter. And we're going to put all that in here. Now butter's really soft, and that is what you want. Let's see here. If it was any softer, it would probably melt. But, okay, we got that. Beautiful. Okay, so to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to do a little bit of pepper in there, because we love pepper. We're going to also put a little bit of... And I'll put the recipe in the description box. I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. And we're also going to put just a little bit of paprika in there. Just for added flavor. It's wonderful stuff. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to cut up. A bunch of my garlic. This garlic is already peeled and I won't need all that. Maybe not. But let's just chop this up because I want mine in chunks like minced. I don't want it smashed. I don't want it ground. I don't want it in there as powder. I just want it minced. So we'll just mince it real small. I'm going to show you a trick. We're going to need salt in there anyway. So if we put a little salt on our garlic, we won't have to put it in our garlic butter because my butter is unsalted. This will stop it from caking together so that you can cut it real nice. Look at that. Nice, hey? That's the secret. That's a little kitchen tip. All right, we're going to put that in there. I think I'm going to put a few more in there. I still got enough salt left on my board. Okay. And just put your finger on the end of your knife, your fingers. That guides it. And just cut through it. Just run the knife right through there. Beautiful. All right. That's perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is mix this up really good. This isn't just good for uh, garlic or for to make garlic bread with. This is excellent on vegetables, on um, potatoes, rice, all that. You can. It's just all around good. We want to mix this really good in here. We want nothing left undone. And our butter is nice and soft and beautiful. See how gorgeous that is? Beautiful. Okay, so now, I'm going to set that aside so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to open up my bread. I'm 
I'm going to keep the packaging too. Okay. We've got those there. We're going to save those. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to cut right down the middle of this bread. going to take and maybe I'm going to use my other because this is a little big to spread. We're just going to spread this garlic butter right out of here. Beautiful. Just spread it right on there. That's gorgeous. We're going to put that together. That one's set. Okay. And then this would be, you would prepare this just like you would the um, garlic breads you get in the store that come in a long loaf, a French loaf. You just let it thaw out and then open it up. You can either put it under your broiler or under, you know, or in your oven. Doesn't matter. This stuff will be wonderful. All right. The rest I'll put in a container and it'll last for quite some time in the fridge. And I'm just going to wrap it. I'm only going to wrap it once because I'm going to put it back in the original packaging. Just like so. And it's ready for the freezer. Beautiful. This is good with spaghetti. All done. That's how easy that is, and that's wonderful. You can just label it that it's garlic bread and date it and get it in your freezer. Okay, and what is left of this, we can put in a container because it will go in the fridge. You can use these this for veggies and potatoes and rice and just maybe make some garlic toast. It's wonderful stuff. And make sure you scrape your bowl. You don't want to waste none of that. Like somebody said in my comments, scrape that bowl like it's your Christmas bonus. I love it. <laughs> okay, friends. You know what we're going to do? I am going to make some breakfast burritos for our freezer because they're wonderful. And I'm using the um, sausage... This was really cheap for this great big bag of sausage links. I only paid $10. And I'm going to use these, the frozen hash browns, and this great big bag I paid $5. So these are going to be some really cheap and delicious breakfast burritos for the freezer. So with that being said, I've got my burrito wraps. I'm going to put these over here, and we're going to crack a whole bunch of eggs and get them mixed up so we can get cooking them. So I'm going to crack about hmm, 16 to 18, uh, 16 eggs, because I got 16 burrito wraps. So we're going to do 16 eggs. I'm doing 
nearly 17 eggs. Beautiful. Okay. Let me put my eggs away. And get my milk out. I want to put a little bit of milk in here. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in there. And that's all I'm going to put in there because I'll put cheese on them when I cook them. So, I'm just going to get these whipped up and then we'll get them cooking. And I'm using this delightful sliced cheese that my neighbor gave me. Oh, this stuff is wonderful. I would put, when I wrapped my burritos up, I would put the sharp cheddar cheese, the shredded cheese on them. I don't like that as well as I like melting the cheese in with the eggs. So that's what we're going to do today. I did that last time I made them and they turned out beautiful. Okay. Let's get cooking these. Okay. We're going to turn our burner on. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. It drizzles out slowly. And I'm also going to put a little bit of butter in my pan. And get that melting. We're going to let that melt, and then we'll get our eggs in there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to scrape our bowl really good. I just keep stirring them until they cook up real good. They're coming along good, friends. I'm going to put a little more butter in them. Okay, now they're done enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my cheese in here. I turned my burner off. And we're just going to start melting cheese in here. This beautiful sliced cheese. I love this stuff. We're just going to put it on them and let that cheese melt. Okay, friends, these are done and everything's melted up beautifully. We're going to give these a bit of a mix so that cheese is all through it. Wonderful. They smell divine. Okay, so here we go. We are going to, I'm going to show you how easy this is that I do, okay, get up there, put the cheese on there, then we're going to just, and I don't worry about heating these up, these are frozen right out of the freezer, but these are going to go right back into the freezer, so I don't need to thaw anything out, okay. I'm going to put a couple of um, hash browns in there. And that's how easy that is to do. And you know what? We can even do this number and roll it up a little bit better. And there's your beautiful breakfast burrito. So I'm going to set these on a tray right here. And then I will wrap them. Those will stay right there. We're going to do another one. These are beautiful. Okay. 
I'm going to put a couple sausage links in there. We're going to put a couple potatoes in there. And we're going to roll them up. Beautiful. Those make a beautiful breakfast burrito. I'll do one more. That cheese is melted and beautiful in there. John loves these. Okay, there we go. There. All right, friends. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these all done. That is so simple to do. I love it. And you could put anything in these you want to, but I'm just making these plain with just eggs, cheese, sausage, and hash browns. You can use tater tots, all of it. It's wonderful. All right, friends, look at it all, my beautiful breakfast burritos, and we are gonna wrap them up for the freezer. These are gorgeous. Okay. That's all I do. I just wrap them like so. That's how easy that is. All right, I will get all these wrapped up. This will be a lot of breakfast for Johnny because these are so hearty. You could divide one and split one between two people. That's how filling these are. They're wonderful. And every time I make breakfast burritos, I make them different every time. Sometimes I add the black beans to them, which is just delicious as well. But I do it a little different each time. This was just an easy bunch. And the sliced cheese and the eggs, that just sets it right off. Because I love when cheese melts inside my burrito. I don't like um, the shredded, like, uh, sharp cheddar. I love the flavor of it. But it doesn't melt, where, melt, where, melt well in my burrito. Sorry about that. And this uh, sliced cheese is beautiful for that. So that's why I do that. So I'm gonna get all these wrapped up. And then I'll show you how we did. And we'll go over what we made today. Okay, friends, now that I got these all wrapped up, I'm going to store these in my bread bags because they'll fit in here nicely. You can put them in Ziploc bags if you wish. I like storing them in there. Now I got a sticky label for these, so I'll label them after we're done before I put them into my freezer. But that's how easy those are. Well, there you have it, friends. It was an easy day. We did a beautiful a batch of 16 breakfast burritos, and they are sausage, egg, cheese, and potatoes. They're wonderful. We did um, garlic butter. I showed you a beautiful recipe for the garlic butter, and you can use that on just about everything that, you know, you put butter on. But we also made, with the little loaves of bread that I got, we did some garlic bread for the freezer. 
So this will be perfect. This is a wonderful addition to my freezer. So friends, I will put the recipe to the um, garlic butter in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video, friends. And as always, thanks for watching.